the next item on the agenda is the administration of the oath. Uh, I was asked um, whether or not I was going to make any comments uh, relative to why we're here. I indicated that I would not, uh, but uh, on second thought, let me quickly say just a couple of things. And first, I'd like to ditto all of the comments made by Representative Knight and Representative Anderson. I will tell you all that the most important job that all of us have is the education of our youth. We find ourselves at a controversial moment, um, and to me that's okay. As long as the subject matter is what's in the best interest of education in our county, the controversy is okay. I believe it will take care of itself. Uh, most importantly, the whole notion of the importance of education, I believe, is at the forefront as we stand where we are right now. That can't be anything but a good thing. We simply want to encourage everybody to remain engaged. Uh, I want to publicly thank our two uh, nominees for their willingness to serve. I want to publicly thank them for the service that they've given to us so far. I would add to Representative Knight's comment as he indicated that there are no two more qualified individuals to serve on the board. I agree with that, but I will also add that we had very um, a number of other very qualified individuals to consider. I consider us fortunate that we were able to choose from amongst them and select these two. Having said that, I would now like to recognize uh, Judge Randy Foxworth we would ask uh, James Duke, Ms. Angela McClary Rush, if you all would join him, and if you would also uh, bring somebody along with you to hold the Bible. Now, we're going to have you all share a single Bible, and I hope you all don't mind that. I think we have one. So you all figure out uh, logistically how you want to do that. Carolina and the United States. And the United States. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> 